everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Korn and in today's video we are going to be doing another Ami Ami pre on unboxing. So before I get into this box here, um, just to preface, these figures were kind of, I just bought them on a whim. Um, I didn't plan on getting them. I was just browsing the Ami Ami pre on section as one does and I stumbled across these two figures for a very good price so I had to pick them up. Um, these two figures are part of a Love Live set that I've wanted for a very long time. I believe these figures came out originally in around 2014. They're by Kotobukiya. Um, I personally love Kotobuki figures and these ones I thought were really pretty um, Love Live figures. This whole set is kind of really pretty. But for how old they are, and considering how many Love Live figures there are, there are some that go for like super insane prices, and these by no means went for super insane prices in the aftermarket, but for the most part they're still pretty high, especially given their resale price. So I, I held off for a while, but then I found these guys on Ami Ami Freon for such good prices, I, I had to have them. With that, let's get on into the unboxing. So without further ado, let's get on in here. I was actually shocked at how cheap I got to ship these guys because they were pretty cheap figures. Um, I tried to go for the cheapest shipping method, which I believe the limit is like 7,000 yen from Ami Ami. If you go over that, then you can't get the cheap shipping method, but these guys were under, but they were scale figures. Um, I know Love Life scales, their boxes tend to be a bit smaller, which, thank you. Regardless, I wasn't sure if they were still gonna be too large to fit in the cheap shipping option box, but they did. So I only paid 2,160 yen to ship these, which is amazing for scales. Like, I paid that much to ship Mendroids. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Alright, so just opening this up here. First thing we have, of course, is the monthly Ami Ami card. This one is from October. It's got all the squinkies and stuff. It looks super cute. Alright, so we're just going to move the Ami Ami card to the side. Oh my god, here they are! Look at them! Oh my god, they're so beautiful. I'm so excited to get into these. So first up here, we're gonna start with Miss Kakarimini. She is one of my favorite Love Live um, Yui's characters specifically. Maki would have to be my favorite, but Maki wasn't available on the set. The set is only Kotori, Honoka, and Umi. And it doesn't even matter that Maki wasn't in the set, these figures were just so pretty and so cute that I had to have them anyways. But it is nice to have one of my favorite characters in figure form here. So I picked her up in B condition, her box is also in B condition. So she is a 1 8 figure by Kotobukiya. And again, her box is super tiny, but it is so detailed and so cute. I love the like all of the different figures for the set have different like panels here. Hers is a heart, and as well as the design here by the name, they all kind of have different colors and different designs down here, which I thought was like a super cute touch. Perfect for idol, idol girls, of course. Similar sets, but a little bit different. So I picked her up for 3,040 yen. So that's like roughly 32.95 Canadian. Um, the original retail price for this was 8,580 yen, so I got quite a good deal. I want to say like $30 for a scale figure. That's pretty amazing. That's like what I paid for really cheap androids. <laughs> to get a scale figure for that cheap, that's awesome. Now I've seen this exact Katsuri figure go on Solaris Japan, brand new for 102.90, which is 
again, quite a lot considering her retail was 8580 and he's released in 2014. And then she is used on there also for 71.42, which is quite a big spike compared to what I paid, 32.95 to 71.42. That's quite a big difference. I'm very happy I paid the 32.95. Um, I've also seen her on body ranging. Um, depending on, and if you get lucky, I've seen her go as low as around $46, but most of the time I see this figure on by going for around $67 to $72 on there too. So I think Ami Ami is the best place to, to get this figure if you're wanting it pre-owned for a good price. I've seen this whole set go up a few times on Ami Ami pre -owned. You just kind of have to be quick to snap them up because they are cheap obviously um people will go for them okay so next up we're gonna move on to the next one i got in the set all right taking her out of the box here we have miss tanaka kosaka this was also in decommission with a b-bot i picked up the honoka here for 2880 yen which is around 31 Canadian and again it retailed for 8580 um, this one is currently going on Slark Japan for around $100 new and then pre-owned uh, for $57.91 so the difference isn't as big as Katsuri's obviously but I feel like Katsuri is kind of a more popular character and I'm not a huge fan of Hanukkah, but some of her cards are just so cute and her personality is amazing. Um, I like her character a lot, it's just aesthetically, she's probably not my favorite. That said, this figure, she looks stunning. I, <laughs> I love her figure here. All the colors and everything are just so Hanukkah, I, I love it. And again, for the price of $30 each, like, <laughs> that's amazing. I have two sales here for $30 each. And again, they only cost 2,160 yen to ship from Amiyami, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. With that, let's get on into their close-up. All right, guys, so I'm going to start with this Kotori figure here. I'm going to give you some close-ups, then we're gonna get into the unboxing. So this is what I was talking about here. This little pattern here will be different on Hanukkahs. All three of them have a different pattern here. And then on this side here too, she has the heart window, whereas I believe Hanukkahs is a flower. And then Umi also has a different one. So I only picked up two of the three in the set. I have the Kotori and Hanukkah, obviously. They did have the Umi on Amiyami at the time of me purchasing these, but the Umi was still 5,000 yen, which is a good price, honestly, still. But uh, I was going on a trip uh, to a convention in another large city that I had to fly to recently. So I didn't have that much money. I didn't know how much I was gonna spend when I was on that trip. So I didn't want to buy the Umi as well because I knew that would be another large sum added to this whereas these two were only 60 bucks for the two of them so i could definitely afford that that said let's get on into the unboxing here So 
another special thing to note about these piggies here. Is this little cardboard casing that it comes with. You can see kind of like a little cityscape in here. Now the reason for that is if once you have all of the boxes, you can actually pose them together with this cityscape in the background. As you can see on this diagram here, it'll tell you that you can pull these out for that reason. So here is her absolutely stunning base. This is one of the main reasons I got this figure again. As you guys probably know if you've been subscribed or have seen my content before, I love an intricate base. And even though the very bottom is clear, I love this whole water splash effect of flowers. It is stunning. Then of course, we have the main body here. And here she is. Again, this figure came out in 2014. But the sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. Like her face is stunning. Her eyes, her mouth, her hair sculpt. It's all super pretty in my opinion. Like I love this. I think they did a great job in this figure, especially considering how old it is. I love all the little effect pieces, like her choker, her ribbon in her hair, the overalls that are kind of falling down, her skirt, which has like a kind of transparent effect to it, her strappy sandals. It's all very beautiful. So then all we gotta do is slide her foot in there. like that and there she is assembled so here we have the Hanukkah box like I said there is the flower panel on hers and then we have again different color and then this one has like the flower details around here for her name too such a cute detail again we're gonna do some close-ups of her box and then we're gonna move on to the unboxing Again, a whole cardboard part slides out. Here we have another segment of that city skyline theme. So I do plan on getting the Indian temple. I just obviously couldn't pick her up for this video. Again, here is her water and flower base. It is super pretty. I love these bases so much. 
and then we have one worker. So just took the plastic off her. Here we have her. Again, the details are just gorgeous. Her expression is absolutely perfect. Of the pearls on the necklace, the little flowers, the flower in her hair, the bows, the little tattoo marks here. Got her scruffy sandals. And the way she's holding her jacket is super cute. Super cute figure. So again, we're just gonna slide her in here until it clicks. And there we have her assembled. So next up guys, we are going to be moving on into the close-ups. So guys, if I had one critique on this figure in particular, it would be her hands here. I think that, personally, at this angle, it looks more sexy. If you're at a more regular angle, her hands kind of cover up her mouth a little, depending on what angle you are. So you have to be kind of like above her to get this super cute pose, whereas if you're like level, you just kind of see fingers in your face. That would be my only critique. Again, I'll probably just display her a little to the side there. That way, that won't be an issue no matter what angle you're looking at her at. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, that's my only issue with this figure. Other than that, I mean, she's stunning.
Alright guys, so that is everything for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. I personally am so happy with how this video went. I'm very lucky to have been able to pick up two scale figures for $60, just over $60. I think that's quite amazing. And again, the shipping is cheap. Very happy about that as I have some expensive ones that are going to be coming soon. Not looking forward to the shipping costs, but I'm looking forward to those figures when they get here. Um, yeah. These guys, again, I'm very happy with how they turned out. Their details are really what make these figures. They're so cute, and they hold up even after all this time. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.